This week has been very, very strange. Very strange. I'm sure from the thumbnail and the title, you all know this video is about the most influential figure in Northern Ireland coming to visit the farm. A true VIP. Actually, a VIP in an international sense. Um, it's, a, it's a woman called Whitney N.I. For those of you who don't know, she's a mortgage broker from Dungannon who tells stories. I don't actually know why she's so popular, but she is. She's coming to the farm. I'll explain the backstory. Where do I even start with this? So on Monday, I released a video addressing algae in a lake. This is going to sound insane if you're not from Northern Ireland. My video on algae in a lake was totally counter to the media narrative and I called them out for it. Turns out if you call out the media narrative with facts, it's pretty popular. That video done very, very well. Whitney released a video around the same time and her video was following the media narrative but with the absolute best intentions in the world of fixing the problem of pollution in Loch Ness. Everyone, mainly farmers, in fact, pretty much all the farmers, were started tagging me in her video saying, hold on a minute, these two videos don't match up. She watched my video, she then done a stitch, which is where she watched it so her audience could see it. So much respect for doing that. If only more people were like that, we would have a much better world. But she done a stitch, she said that she didn't see both sides of the story. So much respect for that. And then as a joke, she said, maybe I'll go work on Andrew's farm for a day for free to make up for it. I obviously said free labor. Absolutely. So that's why she's coming here today. We're not going to actually make her work the whole day. I think there's laws against that. I'm not sure, but she just come in to drive a tractor, milk some cows, go see some animals. So that's what the rest of this video is. I really hope you enjoy it. My week's been crazy. I also took on a large dictator organization which controls my whole business and really annoyed them and got 180,000 views on it. But we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna put that to one side and we're just gonna focus on enjoying the rest of today. So hope you enjoy this video. It's incredibly different to what I ever thought I'd be putting on YouTube. And I know last week you had like a day in my life video. So this was never meant to be this week's video, but this week has been mental. So this is what you're getting and it's going to be really, really good, I think, I hope. All the excitement of today, I also forgot to mention that I'm doing a podcast tonight. It's called Limited Slip Differences, I think. It is the world's worst podcast name. I'll be sure to let them know tonight. I forgot it and tried to like remember it like six times now, but... So I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's going to be like two hours long, it seems to be, and I've never recorded a chat that long so it'll be interesting to see how it goes but anyway Whitney will be here in the next 10 minutes so I'm going to go down and meet her and the next thing you'll see will probably be us taking the tractor for a spin but yeah I'm just going to let the cameras run the rest of the day I'll have two mics on us it'll be a bit messy but it should be fun so stick with it right where are we going to start this you is there shite each shovel today we can if you really want to, yeah. I, say, funny, funny. I, would, I yeah. think they're expecting this to be hilarious. So I well, I think milking's going to be great. I'm not touching no, an Italian. Wait, you're that, wiping teeth. I'm not. I'm not. We'll start at the back of this tractor, but I don't know where I'm going to prop it up. Or can you go out into the yard? You just need a wee intro. And then the rest will just blow free. Sure. But the slowest bit because it's like a countdown timer. Oh, you do it on TikTok? I don't know how to do it anymore. You record on TikTok. It's so, it's so basic. <laughs> it's so basic. Are you. What? You have 150,000 followers? Yeah. I know, but I'm just rolling it. Oh That's my goodness. This is unbelievable. Yeah. You don't use cap cut or anything now? No, I do not. Cap cut. I suppose you do sit in an office. I have the app, but just... I don't know what. Yeah. No wonder that Loch Ney video was so much effort for you. It was tough. It was tough, uh -huh. yeah. I had to, like, save it, <laughs> steal pictures off the news articles and save them on my phone. I'm amazed. And, and then you used, did you use TikTok to edit it? Yeah. Oh. Like, that's what I mean. That would have taken you ages. It, it took a while. I was sitting in my jammies, you see, and I, and I was like, do you know what? That'll be handy. Oh my goodness. Mm. I don't. I'm, you do a timer. I have to. You don't just crop the start of it. 
I don't know how to. You don't know how to crop the start of a video? No. Oh, Not goodness. the start, but I can crop the second bit. I am stunned <laughs> that you do this. <laughs> Welcome to Country Fail. <laughs> Well, you didn't warn me. No, I didn't want to. <laughs> that's way better. <laughs> do you want to do a proper one now? No, that's good. Leave that in. I'm going to leave it in, but we'll yeah. do a proper one. Okay, okay. Now. That's pretty good. You're a professional. Why am I giving you advice? What? <laughs> Not at all. Welcome to come to us. Do you think you can talk to us? Well, we'll get a bit closer. Sure, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not used to timer. I made it to the farm, <laughs> like I said I would. So I think it's time I got to work. Yes, let's go. We're going to teach her to drive a tractor first. Great. Everyone's going to love this. <laughs> Just say you take right. that for a spin or something, and you can say it's That's okay. better than Clarkson's okay. or something like that. So this well, is... We've made... Are you timing again? Just, right, just tell me. Just say yet. action. You don't cut Three. though. Okay. Two. Okay. Okay, so this is your learner tractor. Okay. <laughs> it's bigger than Jeremy Clarkson's. And I'm going to take you through how to use it. But you are driving it. Super. And if you damage it, Let's hope you don't damage it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and this is it. I'll reverse it. Right. And there's a, there's a camera holder up here. Welcome to come. Right. You need to sit down. That's very dangerous. Right. The else from you will be all over you for that. I'm sure if it weren't, they'll be open from the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard door to close. Okay. So it's kind of like a car. Right. Um, this is forward and reverse. Which is nothing like a car. This is your clutch, mm -hmm. brake, and accelerator. Double brake? Yes, for each wheel. But they're locked together. Oh, we'll not yeah, be using yeah. side brakes today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is your gears. Right. Um, and then <laughs> this is your handbrake. I should, be getting, I should do this, shouldn't I? Do you want to put it up here? You see, you could just record a long video clip and then you could edit it after. I didn't do that to make you is this, video. Is this, is this, this? This is the start of me doing. This is the start of you doing. Because I don't want to let like, you have to come so. all the way down here and then maybe do no, a no. long video. What is on your phone? You got something on the back of it? Yeah, it's a pop socket. Okay, a pop socket. Right, there we go. Right. You need to get under. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Right. I'll hit record. Yeah, I'll just let it turn on. All right, so it's kind of like a car, but not really. Right. Clutch, brake. Right. Accelerator. Right. This is your handbrake. You didn't tell me that the last No, I didn't. But this, this is your handbrake. <laughs> and then this is forward and reverse. Now they're going to know we've done two yeah. takes of this. You're, you're <laughs> Stop breaking the fifth wall. Right. And then this is your gears. Right. Right. So I'm going to reverse and then you can drive. Right. Okay? Okay. Right. You're, very, you're very relaxed. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Like I thought you'd be more packed. Right. No, okay. I'll we'll swap over That's first. That's what I'm saying. You could have brought that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. You'll need to put the seat forward. That's good, Pam. Right, you need to put the seat forward, so it's this. Oh, yep. Sorry. Now you're. Are you, can you reach the pedals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Right. Now, do you remember right. everything I told right. you? Right. So that's forward. Yes. So the handbrake's not on, Shushman. It is on. Is it? Why do you think and we're stopped? I have no mark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you need your clutch. Right. And you need your brake. Yeah. Okay. So put the clutch in. Yeah. And then put your foot in the brake. Now right. you take the handbrake off. Put everything out. Just pull. Out. Yeah. Off. Yeah. And now you put it into forward. forward. Yeah. yeah. Now, now the gear. You don't need to worry about the gears. It'll go into a gear. No, no, no. You have to lift it out. No. Up. Yeah. Now you need to you know, lift the clutch out gently, right. or you'll stall it. It's oh. 285 horsepower, but you will stall it. You could have got me past that post. No, first. don't hit that post. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Do not hit that post. Okay. Right. That front axle is probably 10 grand. Okay. okay. Right, you right. got this. No. No, you haven't let the clutch out yet. We're just rolling. We are. I do that in the own car. Okay. <laughs> right, here we go. It's called coasting. Saves you the diesel. Have you any interest in carting silage? Aye, aye. Here. That was easy. That You're was good at this. Townies can drive anything, you You're say. accelerating already. You're too good. You haven't seen all that high. I spoke too soon. Oh, we'll round this way? Yeah. Now be careful. Oh my goodness me. That is a massive drop into the river. It's alright. Now don't hit the wall. This makes me so nervous. <laughs> okay, good. Now, clutch. How did you stop without... How did you stop without putting the clutch in? Because I'm a perfect... How driver. did you... This tractor automatically clutches. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. It took a tiny to teach you how to work your own tractor. Right, okay. We're going to feed the beef house. Right. Jess, what? you need to video this. Oh. oh yeah, no, give Jess your phone. I'll let Jess video it. Look, you've got yourself a job, for fuck's sake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So this is basically all Donkey 262 does. Right. Is feed animals. Right. So this ah, is your yeah. is your meal bin. Yeah. It has to say beef for red tractor. If I didn't have that, we all hit those. We'd, we'd fail. <laughs> so you just stick your bucket under it and right. pull the handle, right. but don't let out too much. Right. That's good. See, she has done it before. You've just spilled it. Yeah. That's good. That's a great bucket. And now you just throw it along the front, and they all eat it. Is just that it? sprinkle it. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yes. Pen on two buckets. Oh. Got this for the next twenty minutes. Jesus. Oh, there's. Skinny right. cows. That's good. Away. We're going to go for tea. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> you realise farming life is quite mundane. <laughs> She's realised already. Be it's been too long. <laughs> I'll get you a grape to grape in the silage. For culture thing to uh, do. I heard somebody mention that. Grape in silage. Right. So two buckets per bit. Yeah. Well, you can stop after a wee while once I get a grape. Can't, can't let them think it, I don't care. Come on. <laughs> this is what I get for opening my mouth. <laughs> Many times you have to do this today. I don't do it, my dad does. <laughs> is it just the trees here? Did Jess does it? not farm. Yeah. Jess hasn't been on the farm in two years. <laughs> She's just acting today as well. So is it? Literally just you and your dad. And then a couple of part-time people, yeah. Yeah. Because even though that fella there when I was younger, he would have they would have had the boys come in, you, you know. I'm have. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm calling you out. <sighs> you were so good at driving a tractor and you know exactly what you're doing. I'm sure you told me just to Yes, but people don't you don't understand. Just do it as filling a box. This is a two-day <laughs> training course for someone new starting Not here. At all. It is, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> have I just been hiring what? <laughs> well let my dad finish it because we'll give him something to do. So the next, the next job. No, I actually feel a bit sorry for them. Ones okay, right, get... you can keep going. You keep going. Well, do you want to grab a bucket and move? Oh, right, okay. Both get a bucket. <laughs> 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 no, I'm been, am I now the? Am I now the employee? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jess. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Right, you've done a great job. Thank you. Yeah. I see you're really used so you, you, well, yeah, I mean, it's not really a beef farm. It's very small, like 10 pound yeah, yeah. farm, but yeah. I, I'm used to like okay. on a Saturday morning going out and chasing the cows. Uh, right, so everyone so. wanted to see her shoveling something. This yeah. is as close as you're going to get because our farm is spotless. <coughs> yes, that's what you so want. So we then, don't no. have anything for you to shovel. So you can grape inside it. Now watch your toes. Yes. Don't stab yourself. Right. You're and barber. you just like <laughs> push it in. Correct. What do you mean push it in? Well, they can't put it over their food. They'll get to the food eventually. Oh, did they eat that? That's silage. Well, I thought that was shit. You thought, this is oh, my look. good silage. Look. I'm famous for my silage. I, no, ignore that bit. Ignore <laughs> that bit, okay? okay Do yeah. not expose the lie. <laughs> Do not expose the lie. What is that? <laughs> I make perfect silage, it's quality. <laughs> Do not, this is gonna ruin me. <laughs> This is literally going to ruin me. Are you me. any good at mortgages? We'll give you a job. I need a job. Right, so just don't no, no, This is this, but he just this. We need a mortgage, Whitney. We need a mortgage advisor <laughs> at the moment. I don't need a farmer. Just you grip this in right. so then they can reach it. No, oh my. Don't stab my calves in the face. <laughs> yeah. Another non conformance. Yes. Great man yourself. Okay, so, I'm now starting to think you haven't been in a farm before. No. That's, that's, no. no. That's good. That's all right. That's all right, yeah. But I feel sorry for them putting it on their Right, okay, you can, you can, we'll come back to this later. Yes. You can come back to this in your own free time. Right. Good job. Oh. Good. Really? A big shed. You don't, but what's in the shed? Oh, yes. Hey. Hey. Yeah. And what's underneath the straw? No idea. Silage. Oh, was it? I see. I never knew what the dumb one. I see. What do you think? What do you time that farmers spend lifting silage? What do you think happens to it? I actually didn't. I only didn't know. So it, it all goes why, in here. I don't know why they cut it. Do you know why we cut silage? No. 
Oh. But is that the big round bales? You know, no, no. Plastic. How is that a round bale? We do not use round bales. <laughs> anyway, so we cut grass right. in the summer, right. and we don't just do it for fun, right. right? We put it in here, and then we feed it over the winter. Stink. What stinks? That would stink. That stinks. That would do. No, it smells lovely. Underneath. People eat this. Un underneath. No, no, it smells lovely. Is that at all? Have underneath? you never watched Tom Pemberton? No. Who's that? He. Tom, how? How did you end up here? Tom Pemberton. I'm right of myself. <laughs> That's how I ended up here. <laughs> Him and his dad. Him and his dad will do an entire YouTube video where right. they just smell and taste stylish. Ah, way. And it's up. their most popular YouTube video. No, I'll get you a good bit. You eat it first. Oh, that's very hot. I don't want that. But. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's disgusting. Again, <laughs> that's spoiling the illusion. No, no, you don't have to eat it. You just, you just taste it and smell yeah, are you it. You want to taste it? I will. It's the same. Right. You said it smells bad. You need to smell it and tell me what it smells like. Oh no, it doesn't smell. Smells. Bad. What does it smell like? Oh, I don't know, but it's the like word is the word is sweet. Say mm. sweet. What does it smell like? It's just sweet. Sweet. There you go. It's good <laughs> sound. It. And then if you just take a wee tiny bit and just go, it should taste like chocolate. I mean, you have to proper. It should actually taste like chocolate. Oh, chocolate, are you eating? <laughs> I'm joking with you, you don't taste size at all. Sour. Like a, ah, like a buttery sour. Again, that's ruining okay. the other. Sour's bad, it means bad silage. <laughs> right. No, that was good. Home. That was good. Yeah, the, this is our only cow that's close to calving, oh. and she has not done as I asked. Right. She has decided to hold on until tonight to calve, but she is a lovely cow. So if you wanted, this could be forever known as Whitney the cow. What about the one she has tonight? The calf? Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Hello. So uh, Whitney just asked, I just said we're going to get the cows and she asked, why are we moving them for? Yeah, where are you getting them from? Well, we're getting them from the field, but they have to be milked. Right. So we have to bring them here to be milked. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying. Where are you getting them from? The oh, where? Down here. Yeah, yeah. we're going well, down here. they're everywhere. Here. They're not everywhere. No, they're in one field. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show Whitney my compactor. Oh. oh no. That was a bit deeper than I was, I wasn't expecting it. Her wellies are a very poor choice. They're very good. So again, if you were a normal visitor to this farm, it's in like a culture, yeah. right? And you seen that harvester. Would I be really impressed? You'd wet yourself, <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> but it means nothing to you. No. But I just want you to know. That that's a good That is machine. impressive, right? Uh, what do you call it? It's, it's a harvester. A kong. A, a kong skildi. Right. But if you call it a kong skildi, right, right, you'll be abused out of the farming community. Right. That is a JF, okay? So it's these are like the... JF on it. I, oh, don't start. These are the unwritten rules of farming. Right. Okay. So basically, if something is called a name, even if the company was bought over 20 years ago, you never change. It's the old school Because name. you're seen as being young and right. being arrogant. Right. So you stick to JF. Right. I've fallen into that trap before. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you my compactor. Right, okay. So, now you need to guess what do you think this is for? Oh, that's for cutting out the lines in the grass. Has to be. In the soil. That has to be for seeding. Has to be. I would think. Yes. That that would go over the grass and that leaves a groove in the a ground. A groove? Yes. To put seeds in? Something in. Right, okay, yeah. no, try, that's not it. That's to squash the silage. To, to squash it. Is it really, eh? Yes. Yeah. To get the air out. That's train wheels. Oh, I thought that was going to be... Yeah. You know what I was imagining. How much do you think I paid for something to squash? Quid. I would probably say that's cost you about... Oh, five, six, seven, eight grand. Eight grand, yeah. well done. Yeah. Good guess. Yeah. Now, I'll be honest, that's the, like, the only one in Ireland because no one, everyone thinks I'm a moron. Right. Because I bought train wheels to so squash. Else does that. No one else uses train wheels to squash that. So what, you know. the, what do they do? They don't. They just well, don't. Well, you see, I wondered when you said to squash the grass and I was like, why would you? Yes, why? this is a common why reaction. Why would you waste time and money? No, 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 it's not wasting time and money. Is that what people tell That's you? what people tell me. I knew the one. It's not what was wasting time and money. It makes better silage. Right. Yes. So well, you're, you're learning. Before you know what, I'm going to be on Amazon with my own farming show. Before Here, you know what. I'm not even joking, that'll be gold. Before. So this is our Land Rover. Yes. Okay, 1996. Right. And everyone's driving around the port, okay? Yeah. In immaculate defenders. Yes. I don't get it. No. I barely fit. There's nothing in them. 
They're, they're well, the worst basic, vehicle ever. Basic. Yeah, but this Land Rover has a story to tell. <laughs> it looks like it. Uh, don't you stop <laughs> yeah. abusing me. It does. This dent right here was from uh, a calved cow that was had broke out. And we tried to break her back in with her pants in and she just jumped on top of it and bent the Land Rover. That Didn't was 10 you? years ago. Really? Yeah. Never fixed it. Story and what, about, and what happened this bit? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say my dad hit a gate. Right. right? This bit. Again. This bit. Again, my dad hit, <laughs> hit stuff. Yeah. Right. All the problems, my dad. Right. Okay. Never right. you. Do you want to drive? Yeah. Okay. Us folk. The townies. Oh, yeah. For about real that, life. Well, it's yeah. interesting because. That's why, that's why Clarkson's farm done so well. It's not so much the farmers. It was the townies. Like, that's yeah. a really good idea. It really is. But, but like. Yeah. We should probably go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. sorry. People are genuinely. I'll wait till we get to the cars. Yeah. Um, but these fields right here, okay? Oh, yes, ah, yes. These fields are all very high in phosphorus. Right. So if you listen to Nolan and yeah. you hear things about fields being high in phosphorus and too much slurry, yeah. okay? Yeah. This is what it looks like in real life. It's just perfectly fine. Yes. But the reason why these are high in phosphorus is because my dairy herd grazes here. Okay. And they eat meal, like yep. the nuts you fed to the yes. calves. Yes. And that's a source of phosphorus. And then, of course. And then when they graze, they deposit it. Okay? That's a, that's a, that's a good way of that's saying it. That's a good way to put it. So there is no artificial fertilizer. There's no slurry goes in these fields. Right. Okay. There's no extra phosphorus. Okay. And my phosphorus indexes have been stable for the last 10 years, as in they're not changing. Right. They're not decreasing. They're not increasing. Right. But if the government brought in legislation to say, that I was not allowed to graze these areas, for example, because of the high phosphorus index, yeah. it would totally destroy the business. Really? Yes. So this is what it actually looks like. When you hear about pollution... If you were like you you saying earlier, you know, your phosphorus levels are quite low anyway. If you were in a position where they made that even lower, you're in a position already to go to work. You, you see, that's nitrates, right. and that is also a problem. Yeah. We're at a nitrates limit. Right. But the phosphorus issue is totally separate. So what do we do now? As in bring the cows in, yeah. or as in how, what is agriculture going to do for the next 20 years? No, I'll open the gate. You need to drive forward, okay. and we need to do it quickly before the cows all come out. Yep. Ugh. So I just drive forward and make sure they Drive forward. Out. If she runs over a cow... Oh, keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Oh my God. Keep going! I will die. Move! That's good. <laughs> Keep Move. going! Right, She's folks. done well! So, this field is very wet. So this is not what it should look like. Yeah. Okay? This is what happens after a week of rain. She was done with all that good matter. <laughs> and this will be like the last time grazing. Right. So then after Two weeks, they're in the house full time. Oh, yeah. And you can see how, how eager they were to get out. Most days at this time of year, they try to break out to get in. back inside, because yeah. Yeah, they're fed up. They're fed up with the Northern Irish weather like everyone well, that'll else. that'll be them in now for the night. Like that'll the be them in for the, that'll be without, their bedtime. Without, without, like, that'll be their time. bedtime, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go and milk some cows. Yeah. Whitney's, you say you work from about when you take That's the day. Yeah, but yeah. you yeah. work with all the clusters. Yeah, I think, I don't you know what that is. That's one of the tank, is it? Yes. Yeah. It's a very high, and then it gets cool. And then right here? No, it gets cool right there. Right. Oh yeah, you can do what? Very well, hit the strong face. Okay, so when the next row comes in, we'll get you to put on some questions. Give you a turn. So, oh, sorry, Carl. Run, run. You have to get this. No shite. Oh, my glasses. Oh, no, my face. That's impressive to get done. It is. I'm spotless. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's paper there. Good job, guys. That's brilliant, right? Like, we're going to milk the first time, right? right? So that's the cow's udder, right? And these have to go into the cow's feet, okay? <laughs> so just lift the cluster, hold it here, right? And then lift it up, right? You lift everything up, and then drop it, and then after that, you start it, okay? Right? It's not very tricky now.
That's good. That's actually good. That is very impressive. Yeah. I love it. Very impressive. I should have got your leggings to be fair. Not at all. So that is my day on the farm done. A big thank you to Andre here at Farm Theory. It has been brilliant. And honestly, go and watch his videos. You don't realize how much work goes into bringing that pint of milk onto your table and you definitely need to go and check out his stuff. So thank you very much. No I have um, had a brilliant day. I offered her a job. Yeah. Very, very talented. I've been <laughs> blown away. Yeah. So thank you for watching and thanks to TikTok, I guess, for this. Yeah, very interesting. Thank you. Whitney has just left. It is quarter past five. She's done a good three hours work. So I got money's worth out of her, although I didn't actually pay her. So it's been extremely good value for me. But I have to say, huge thank you to Whitney. She's one of the most genuine, down to earth, nice people that I've spoke to in a long time. And it's one of them people where the second you meet her, you just know She's a decent person, so all credit to her. 10 out of 10, top marks. I am a big fan, a big fan. But I'm gonna head home now, get some dinner, get a shower, get changed, and then I'm heading up the road to Macrofelt to record a car podcast. And I, I'm not interested in cars at all, so.